Hello everyone and welcome to Ocean Cadence. Today we will be undertaking the topic of fuel oil purification system. That is how the heavy oil or the VLSFO that is being stored on board is being purified and then being made available for further supply into the service line through the service tank. So let us see now. As in our last video, we had discussed how the supply system works. So once the supply system is through with its action, we know that VLSFO is present in the settling tank. Now for this VLSFO to go into the supply system, the oil needs to be purified to be made readily available. So before the oil is put into the service tank, we need a medium where the oil is purified of all its sludge, water content and all the other debris including the cat fines and everything for whatever portion is available and that is why we use this system. So first as we can see we have the settling tank. If the cat fine content is high as we all know that cat fines have a high affinity towards water that is why we periodically use the settling tank draining mechanism to remove the water content that is included in the VLSFO and thereby it carries a certain amount of cat fines at width as well. Thereafter the fuel which is available in the settling tank is then drawn by the feed pump. Depending upon the design of the purifier and the manufacturer, this feed pump can be a separate unit altogether or it can be an attached gear pump to the purifier itself. However, the line schematic remains the same. So, the feed pump draws the fuel from the settling tank. In between, there would usually be a duplex filter available before the suction into the feed pump to remove the coarse impurities from the settling tank fuel that is being drawn and to make sure that the oil supply further into the heater and thereby the purifier is free of the coarse debris that is there in the settling tank fuel. As we can see, up to the feed pump, the line would usually contain two or more valves for the isolation of the feed pump that is the feed section so as to make sure that the filters can be cleaned at any point of time and the purifier can also be made ready for the maintenance and overhaul procedures and so as the heater. The other elements except for the VLSFO settling tank and the feed pump in the circuit are fuel oil heater prior to the purifier. Thereafter, the three-way valve leading the fuel into the purifier or back to the VLSFO settling tank. The purifier itself which is responsible for the purification process that is the separation process of the fuel, sludge and water. The sludge tank where the sludge and water content is being led to after removal and the service tank. So now when the feed pump has already drawn the fuel, after that it supplies the fuel into the heating line. Now once this heating line is provided, fuel will enter the inlet part of the heater. The purpose of the heater is to bring the temperature of the stored VLSFO oil to operational purification range because as we know that as we keep on increasing the temperature of the fuel up to a certain point, the difference between the specific gravity of the fuel and the water would be qualitative enough to make sure that the purification process is in its optimum state. So once the fuel enters the heater, the heat from the steam heating line that is the auxiliary steam line that is available on board is being utilized to heat this fuel up to a certain temperature let's say in case of a lot of heavier fuels it can be as high as up to 98 degree centigrade and once the fuel is sufficiently heated up it then goes into the discharge line of the heater after that depending upon the action of the three-way valve this fuel can be further supplied to either the purifier or in case if the purifier is in its discharge state or is in stop condition and we are using only the heater for recirculation mechanism to keep the fuel oil in a heated state, the fuel can be recirculated back to the VLSFO settling tank. Alternatively, it can also be used to carry out a closed circuit between the heater itself. So, it depends entirely upon the lineup of the valves. So, as we can see, the fuel is now readily available at the position for the three-way valve. Now, after the auto run program of the purifier is done through with its different stages, the purifier three-way valve before its activation will be given a control air signal 
and then subsequently the three way valve will operate and allow the fuel to pass through itself thereby closing the bypass line and allowing the fuel to go into the purifier. This purifier would then separate the solid sludge as well as the water content from the fuel as much as possible and then make the fuel readily available from its discharge site to further head into the service tank. Now what is important is that the first valve which is available before the fuel enters into the purifier and before the three way valve, the first manual valve which is available would always be used to control the flow rate of the fuel. It can either be the outlet of the heater directly or can be a completely different valve altogether if the heater needs to be bypassed and direct fuel needs to be supplied into the purifier if the purification temperature grading is lower than the general what we have. It depends entirely on the fuel specification. So, these manual valves are the valves which are responsible for controlling the flow rate of the inlet to the purifier. That is at what flow rate the fuel is being supplied into the purifier. And in the same way, the outlet valve of the purifier, the first outlet manual valve is the valve which is important and responsible to control the back pressure in the purifier. That is, if I am supplying a certain quantity of fuel into the inlet to the purifier and I am allowing a certain lesser quantity to move out, thereby the difference between them would create a certain amount of back pressure on the purifier and due to this back pressure, it would also make sure that the oil in purification unit remains for a little longer time than what it would have if I directly allow it to pass without any regulation. This would indirectly achieve a superior quality of purification and thereby also prevent because as a virtue of the back pressure for the purifier to overflow. So, the purification process would be optimum. The inlet controls the flow and the outlet controls the back pressure. The arrangement of all the other walls in the line would and should not affect the parameters of the purifier under any circumstances. And the most important thing in this is that upon the lineup, we always have to make sure that the walls which are regulating the bypass flow before the fuel enters into the purifier should always be lined up as such that during the inoperational status of the purifier or during the desludge or other programs, the fuel is easily allowed to flow back into the settling tank, thereby not creating any unnecessary back pressure in the supply side of the circuit. Because if that is not the case, then the heater can get overpressurized and the relief valve of the heater can live and the oil can go into IOPP tank like a BSOT tank which is responsible for collecting all the leak offs and all the overflows and thereby you can see that a certain amount of rise which is unexpected would be observed in the BSOT. So the lineup always has to be adequate and cross check. The steam inlet and outlet line would usually have an auto controller valve the action of which we will be taking up separately in a different discussion altogether. And this auto valve would be responsible for regulating the set temperature of the fuel that is being supplied in the line. The slush tank which is also an IOPP tank is the one which is responsible for storing intermittently all the desludge debris that is being removed from the purifier during the desludge action such as the sludge content, the water content and everything else. And this sludge tank needs to be periodically emptied into the either into the BSOT which can be a larger tank or directly into the incinerator waste oil tanks for making it available to be incinerated during the voyages. The sludge tank would also usually have a line to be discharged to shore facilities when the vessel is at port. It depends entirely on the schematics of the vessel and the line diagram of the particular vessel in the question. I hope this diagram helps you to evaluate the fuel oil purification system that is available on board. Special care needs to be emphasized on the freshwater system which is sometimes ignored for the operation of the purifier. This system supplies the fresh water under pressurized state for the bow closing, bow opening, pilot valve and all other actions and it has a filter and other diaphragm valves in its line which usually need to be maintained periodically. 
and it needs to be made sure that no rust and other wear particles are there deposited in the line because then it would reduce the flow of the water the pressure of the water that is available at the purifier and thereby affect the action of the purifier as well with this i would like to conclude this video on the fuel oil purification system this diagram is just a general schematic diagram and the elements as well as the flow line can differ immensely when you go on a different ship and therefore we always suggest you to be thorough with the purification line on your ship i hope that this clears all the doubts and also if you like our video then please click the like button and also hit the subscribe button for the channel and share it with your friends and colleagues thank you